welcome back. And in this uh, fourth devlog on my retro space shooter game, I was able to set up some starting mechanism. So right now, currently, if the player presses the start button, this will engage the, the game itself. Currently, the, the background space will kind of float there. Nothing else is happening until you actually press that start. Uh, once you press the start, uh, you're able to then uh, shoot the enemies and start keeping track of their score, as well as if you take damage, there's a little bit of explosion damage, and then you start losing your life. So each hit is one, so you get three, three lives on your run. This is sort of a infinite runner style game in the sense that the game will keep running as long as you keep your power indicator up. So for instance, as the enemies are spawning, there will be little peas that will show up that you can grab to then give you more power to keep yourself going. You run out of power, then it's game over. Or if you actually lose and get take your damage, then you'll, you'll get uh, game over as well. I've also added some of the UI elements here. Eventually, I'm going to add a shield so the player can collect a shield and then if the player gets hit, they'll be coming on the next update. Um, also, on this update here as well, I went through and learned how to add this sort of this sprite font. So this asset pack came with these elements here, these numbers, so I can use them as the lives and the score. And then I was able to set up a, a custom font to be able to use these in the actual game. So let's go ahead and take a look at a preview here. There's also audio as well in this game for this first one. Here's a theme song playing in the background. Uh, once you start the game, there is no other effects just yet. I'm going to add those in the next update. So let's take a look at what I got so far. So nothing happening, the space background's obviously moving, spaceship's ready to go, count is at zero, lives are at three, power is at full, and then I press the start here to get the game going. The player can use the arrow keys for moving left and right, and you can use the space bar for shooting. Uh, infinite shots right now, so there's that P. So if I collect the P, I get more power. So right now, three shots to kill the enemy and each enemy is 10 points. Uh, some enemies will shoot uh, one shot, two shots, or three shots, or no shots at all. And as long as I can continue to advance and grab the P's for my power, I can keep on moving forward. If I get hit, I take damage. And if I take too much damage, then it will be game over. I'm gonna add a sort of an ending to that song as well and then you get to play again uh, those are right now those are the mechanics that I have set up uh, again play a start uh, or the player can use the WASD keys and um, and right now it's a WASD keys and use the space I'm gonna set up so that they can use the WASD keys and the mouse click for firing and so that's what I have so far on this fourth milestone. I will post this to my itch page so that if you want to play, test the game and give me some feedback on that, I'll put the link in the show notes so that way you can have a, have a look and try it out yourself. Uh, thanks again for watching.